lady called me today from Lexington. She said, if you could just donate some house, some, uh, some uh, socks, thermal socks that's warm, and some coats and some Bibles. If you would just get someone to donate those, we'll come and get them and give them to the people on the streets that don't have a home. Until the church gets realistically back to that, that, that way of living. The church is not going to amount to nothing. Our soup kitchens have slack. Our freezers has empty. Our canisters has lost capacity. There's not much in the people that are hungry. You can't feed them because the food is not there. What are we going to do about this? One lady said there was an elderly man come up to her and says, man, sad situation. She says, I've lost one toe. I don't want to lose the other one. She says, well, why did you lose your toe? He said, because it is so cold out here that my feet got frostbit. I lost my toe. Do you have a pair of socks? Do you have a pair of socks that you can give me to put on my feet, please? I have no home. I have no means of living. I live in a box. I live perhaps wherever he lives. Can you give me a coat, something that I can zip up? Do you have the Bible that I might be able to read? Just a small New Testament. Do you have these things? You see, I have people asking me these questions. You have a church. Can you help these people? They've already declared that their church has already helped 175 homeless people on the streets of Lexington, Kentucky. There are churches reaching out and sending in places and sending in shoes and socks. That's all a poor man's asking for is a pair of socks. And we drive a limousine. We have the best that is coming and going, the nice ties and the nice suits. I thank God for that. I thank God for your blessing. But there's somebody out there that doesn't have it. I think it would be worthy, be wise just to be able to. I thought many times about going down to Ashland, down to the boat docks where I know that there's a bunch of people hid in the weeds down there. Go buy a cup of hot chocolate and go look for them and give them something hot to drink. And then tell them about Jesus. What is it tonight that you can do for them? The Lord has already came into this world. He created the world. May we all know this. God has already made a plan. God's plan, initiated plan, was to destroy sin. That way we could have more liberty and freedom. But since then, praise God, there's been an invasion. The devil in this last days is going to get harder and rougher and tougher. But that's when you get tougher. And do what the word says. Roll me a tape tonight. We thank the Lord tonight for... I'm thinking about... And they would have extra in his pocket. He said, well, what can I do with this? And stay in my pocket for weeks. There's an old woman out there on the street that has no food. There's an older man out there. There's, a, there's children possibly out there that's living on the streets. God has made a way tonight because he depends on you.